All right, so hope everyone's doing pretty well. I actually realized that because we had stupid daylight savings times here in America, because you know we're stupid, uh, the UTC time for New York City for New York City is actually now minus four hours, not minus five. That's why I was getting tripped up. So Wall Street Finance isn't launching for another hour and five minutes. So I figure I can at least get this video out. I would like to try to get a second video out before the launch because I'm going to do a launch snipe on Wall Street Finance. I don't normally do something like that. Uh, but in this case, it's actually the safest play. You know, I could, what am I having extra money? And, you know, of course, you know, I already, you know, have my, uh, you know, what is it? Hesitations with the project, you know, quote unquote project, right? I don't mind buying into a project if it's more expensive, if the price of that is knowing that I'm investing into a safe project, because that's actually more important. Because just because something's really cheap and you're on the quote unquote ground floor doesn't make it a good opportunity, right? You know, like 80% of the time it's going to actually fail. So, I mean, that's going to, like, <laughs> you know, the 20% of the time that it works, I'd rather just avoid the 80% and just wait for the 20% and pay a little more money. You actually save money that way because of all the money you lose in the eight times that you lose, right? On bad bets. You know, it's, it's, it's risk ma it's risk and money management. You just got to play the odds. So anyway, uh, someone, I think his name was Dustin, but someone on the YouTube comments yesterday suggested this project, and it actually looks pretty solid. Um, if I go over here, it's got the nice special little peg thing here. You know, it's been out for a very long time, and they're audited and KYC'd. From what I can tell, they did not renounce the contracts, and considering all the extra stuff they're adding, yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't even have to, I mean, I checked for smart APR system, but it looks pretty solid. So this is on the Binance Smart Chain, and they basically pegged themselves to Ethereum. And this is, did I say BSC chain? This is, I mean, that's what I was quoted. Yeah, Binance Smart Chain. So it looks really solid. It's pretty much at peg. They already have 10.8 million tokens out of 14 and a half million. So I know the inflation rate should be relatively stable now, if, assuming they're even using the standard four and a half percent. The share price looks very healthy as well, and it also produces very little shares, right? So that already tells me that whoever makes, whoever is running EMP, obviously knows what they're doing. So they have a quite a, they actually have quite a lot of different things here. So, so pretty much they're, I mean, there's a lot of money deposited, so your APR is going to be like crap. So like half a percent in the base peg token. Then you have shares BNB, this is 1.24%. And then of course you have the hybrid where you get the shares and the base peg token, also half a percent. So I'm just gonna say 1% daily on average, all right? But you, but this is actually pretty stable, all right? And their price action looks pretty good too. All right? it, it, I mean, even that it's all, even like it's normal highs isn't really that high. So, you know, they do pretty well. And then the share price is also, you know, pretty much the same story, you know, and it's consistently going up. So it looks really, really good. Looks really, really good. And the inflation seems more or less under control. So they're about to have an epoch. I mean, I wonder how, I'm just curious. They are up to epoch number 302. This will be number 303 in 54 seconds. So the yearly APR is 1550. Uh, 196, 453. So believe it or not, you actually want to play the... You actually want to play the uh, boardroom, actually, because there's 4,200 shares staked into the boardroom, which is actually a vast majority. This is unusually high. So, like, we're talking, like, 70% of your shares, 75% of all your shares in circulating supply are in the boardroom. So I actually would have to make a special note saying 1%. Oh, I, have to, I have to calculate this. Um, this would be 1% to 4% daily, I think, right? If you're doing the shares. I mean, in this case, if you want more money, yeah, you have to do the shares. So, which of course, normally I don't do, but I mean, the APR is so much higher than in even, even in these liquidity pools, so. All right, so what I like about this is they actually have a built-in, you know, use case kind of thing. Oh, they even have a rankings board, which actually shows. Wow, total claim. All right, so this is called the detonator. Huh. 
pretty funny. And from the way it looks, it appears to be kind of like Titanal Play. You just deposit your LPs and you have a chance to win like a lot of money. And then here's like a overall summary of like, you know, winners and stuff. So here's the total number of competitors, I assume, right now. And of course, the largest prize ever awarded was this amount of tokens. And that was worth about $29,304. So for a little bit of money, supposedly, you can potentially win a shit ton of money. So this is actually pretty nice. And of course, the house always has to win. So I'm pretty sure that this takes a little bit of profit for itself to keep the thing going forever. Meanwhile, you know, so basically this is just a clever way of redistributing everyone's wealth without, uh, you know, whatever. And of course, it displays yesterday's winners. So total tickets. Ticket price is 0 0.15 or $16.28. Purchasable tickets, deposit, and compound 50 50. The lottery prize is whatever this is. Oh, okay, I keep uh, doing that. Uh, I wish they had a little more info. I don't really feel like going to their documentations page. So you can deposit, and then and there's some daily bursts, share multiplier, there's a referral link. So you can actually, I'm not going to put this in because I don't really care to do this. And then of course your rewards. I assume that, I assume you don't lose any of your money. Deposit your EMP in the pool and earn back 365%. But this is actually a really good addition. So these guys, I can definitely see why this is a very stable project with stable prices. This is generate EMP with nodes. Purchase nodes to generate EMP. Okay. Uh, and there's actually a lot of people in this thing. We're almost at 900,000. So, giga node price. So, I assume I approve this. I guess purchase a node. Oh. So, this is a giga. This is mega. Kilo. Mini and Nano. Uh, okay, so I assume I approve it. I have to buy it for something. So this probably means I invest, like, I probably have to use some kind of token that helps this protocol, and then I get this node, and I just generate EMP. So this is like an alternative form of single staking. If you don't want to... So this doesn't even. This is not really affected by price action, I think. All right, you just simply hand money over to the project, and then you just get this thing called a node, and then you just get free to, uh, base tokens, and then you just do whatever you want with it, right? Which goes over here. So this is an alternative, and that clearly does work because nine hundred thousand dollars worth of money is in here. So this is an alternative, and you know you still get like about a little less than one percent a day. So they actually have some pretty nice things about uh, going on here. Uh, really not much to say about the price action. I said to one day, they've been around a long time and they're obviously very, very stable. They launched like January 19th. So I don't know, looks pretty good. I mean, you're not gonna break the bank with this kind of money, but I mean, it does look very safe. I mean, $12.6 million deposited cannot be uh, wrong. Uh, well, they could be wrong, of course, but I think it's very less likely. Uh, more info. Okay. So this is actually pretty. This is actually really good. So if you so this thing has an so whoever codes this project really knows what they're actually doing. So it automatically figures out what is the best thing to do for the project. And all you have to do is just do it, just, just automatically push this button. I mean, you have to approve it. There's no money in here. And then I assume you just get, click go. And then it'll just, like it says here, it'll use up all your shares and EMP in your wallet. And it'll automatically do all this to keep the protocol, you know, growing healthy and stable. Like this is, the, like, imagine if all the other tomb forks that we're invested in and I'm invested in had this kind of shit. With this kind of brilliant like programmer, I mean, we'd be making so much effing money every day. We would be making like, like, like let's say you put in like a thousand dollars, you'd be making like five hundred dollars a day from a thousand dollars. It it would just be good, and then of course it'll go down over time because everyone else is going to come into your project, and then the TVL 
will get out of control and then everyone's the rewards get diluted because there's like a lot more people but hey you got a stable project that's giving you money right you know i'm still doing really well at printer financial right even though now it's down to 2.2 percent on binance smart chain so that's why i think i might just simply hop over to harmony one and just stay there all right and then i'll decide if i want to move it back to binance smart chain after which kind of sucks just because i actually liked using the profits from printer financial buying smart chain to keep buying more web3 so what that means is i now have to just bridge over you know uh but it also occurred to me that because there's always a big launch for printer financial and every new chain they go on i can basically double my position all right because i there's like a 24 36 48 hour window where you know the apr is like 150 200 percent which of course rapidly goes down but if you get in first before everyone else which of course i do yeah it's like holy shit yeah. and then i don't have to steal from you know my sphere position right so it's a really nice way to just keep and it's, it'll be relatively stable right because printer is still and really america money and t-piggy surprisingly have been very price stable everyone else is still under a lot of pressure so anyway uh check out emp definitely very interesting if i were to play this project believe it or not i would probably do I would actually either do the boardroom, which is actually now 5% daily. Great, so now I'm going to write the 5% daily for this. I would either do the boardroom, which is something I would never ordinary do, or I would probably do this lottery thing. Now, I don't know what the odds are. And, I mean, I mean, actually, I don't know. Maybe you do lose money when you buy these so-called tickets. So I'm not really sure how this works, but maybe it's deflationary as well. And this is only drawn once a day, so I don't know. But, you know, whatever the case is, I would obviously check to make sure I don't lose money if I deposit into something like this. If I don't, then meaning like, you know, you put in like 500 bucks and then the protocol takes your 500 and then that's it. You don't get it back. But I don't think that's the case because I see claim and compound in here. So 15% savings. See, this thing says 15% savings, so apparently there's a tax here too. So, okay, so yeah, but either way, you know, they obviously know what they're doing. So, and then of course, yeah, so I don't know, but I'm not going to play this project. You know, obviously, I just want the degenerate plays, you know. But with that being said, this does look very, very solid. All right, you have your audits and whatever here if you care about that. So, I'm going to try and see. I'm going to try and find another project because I was looking at other projects. I'm still waiting on Fed Finance. It's still not launched for some reason. You know, in fact, are they even, I'm not even sure. Their Genesis pools in 26 hours, so I can't even cover this project for another like day or two. So, yeah, I'll try to find something on XYZ site over here. We'll see what happens. So, and I'm not going to do an update video on Wall Street Finance, right, even if it rug pulls, right? Well, maybe if it rug pulls, but to be honest, I'm not going to. Oh, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'm too lazy to do that. If it rug pulls, like an actual rug pull, like it pulls the liquidity or whatever. Actually, I don't even think that's the case because... Oh, man. Pink sale. Uh... 300 days after the pull ends okay so i guess okay i guess they won't rug pull from the liquidity pool but i don't i don't always trust that though in fact i generally don't but i mean it reassures a lot of people so i guess it does work oh i didn't even notice this emp academy so it even tells you yeah so this is just so good they, whoever runs this project the team or whatever it has to be a team i mean that could be one really smart coder i guess whoever runs this probably really knows what they're doing emp so but yeah, anyway, I will try to look for something like this because I've noticed that projects that have like this little special peg tag on XYZ site, uh, they tend to be really good. In fact, they've always been pretty good. At least they've been stable-ish compared to all the other dead or scammy projects. All right, so hopefully I'll see you in the next video, whatever that happens to be. I just have to go on the XYZ site. Right now, launches are just so slow and there, everything else that's launching is just a scam that just goes down to zero. Like, I already closed out, like, two projects that I was waiting on, like some Kronos 2 fork. That's way below PEG already. They're not even out of Genesis yet. And then Skake Finance, which is PEG to Pancake. 
they're way below, uh, you know, Pig as well. So it's like a dead project. So it's like, you know, I'm just getting sick and tired of it. But, I mean, you can't force a good investment. If there's nothing to invest in, then there's nothing to invest in, you know? So, yeah. But, you know, I am hoping that this Fed finance, you know, does actually do something. So far, it seems to be okay. But we'll find out in 26 hours. So I will see you in, I guess this is a pretty good thumbnail. So I'll see you in the next video. I don't know when that'll be. I hope it'll be right after this video. And the launch is in 50 minutes for Wall Street Finance. So obviously I got to, you know, hurry things up. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share. Thanking all the new people that are coming in. I think most of you are actually, uh, as of yesterday, are coming from Wall Street Finance. So welcome, welcome. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I don't really trust that project, Wall Street Finance, but... I'll take, but they have very good marketing, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. You know, hopefully I'll make, uh, I'll double up or ideally triple up my money on the pump and dump. And then, uh, you know, I'll wait and see, you know, I'll wait and see. If it does turn out to be a legit project, or at least the price action doesn't, you know, go to shit. You know, I'll do a uh, update video on that. So, you know, hey, you know, I might as well make the... Uh, marketing work for me you know it'll help promote my youtube because right now i've noticed a lot of tomb forks are just not getting searched on my channel a whole lot which i understand because tomb forks are you know doing really badly right now so people are like yeah fuck this you know so uh but you know that's how it goes so but at least the projects that are coming up that i will be covering you know will do really really well assuming of course it's not a scam rug pull as always so all right see you in the next video thanks for watching